every artist wants their work in a museum. Now, I already know from experience why your thoughts on that, but you know, for the people who, had, who don't know, what are your thoughts on um, artists wanting their work in museums? You know, it's hard to have this conversation without talking about where you come from. Because see, there's a fine art direction and then there's a commercial kind of a direction. So everybody who's traditionally trained believes that their work should be in a museum because that's what educationally you're taught. Academia pretty much saying, you know, this is, these are all your masters, these are all the people that are famous, this is where their works are housed, and one day, if you're fortunate and you build a career, this is where you'll go. You got commercial artists that are doing something very different. They're, they're graphic designers and all these other things, so they're venturing off into some, a whole different world. So museums, for me, this, the biggest thing is that museums are promoting non-living artists. That's the basic format for a museum. That's the biggest problem right there, okay? Non-living artists. How can a living artist aspire to be in a place where they're promoting non-living artists? Now, they do alternate uh, exhibitions and things throughout the year where they may bring in living artists, but that's the biggest thing. If you are not in the indoctrinated that way, and I wasn't, I was a graphic designer, I started looking at the consumers as my outlet. You know, I've had some people walk up on me and go, hey, hey, has your work ever been in the museum? And I go, well, yeah, I've been in the Riverside Museum, I've been in the James E. Lewis Museum, I've been in quite, I've been featured in the Walters Museum, but they're not ready for my work. And they were probably never housed while, while I'm alive. So I'd rather have my work in 500,000 homes, 300,000 homes than one museum. You have to pick what side you're going for. Because I got some artists that's tripping out here, man, with the essence of being an artist, and they're looking down on people because they want their work to go on this particular trajectory. And you know, if you do reproductions, then you've cheapened your work. If you're a fine artist and you want to be in a museum, go to the museum bookstore and look around. Because all of Picasso's stuff is on books, mugs, pens, or whatever else you want to spend money on. Why is it okay for the museum to publish those things, but then when you start doing it, it works against the essence of being a fine artist? It trips me out. The flip side of that is, as an African-American artist, and look at what's happening with African-American artists of, of, that are the legends and the masters of my business, Look at Jacob Lawrence, look at Romeo Beard, and look at um, you know, Elizabeth Catlett, look at Charles White's work, look at the value of their work today versus their white counterparts, and our work is still way undervalued. So now you want to be in a museum, and our legends aren't even getting the proper respect. I think you be the, we need to wake up, figure out how we want to have our work seen and shared, and move forward, because the museum hey, you may not be around to enjoy that. <laughs>